Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we study how to change or convert fractions into decimals. There's two basic methods. One is, we can sometimes use equivalent fractions with a denominator of 10 or 100 or 1000 and so on, powers of 10. And the other method is just to use division, either long division or using a calculator. Let me show you first examples of the first method, which sometimes works. And that is, for example, 7 over 25. I can write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, because 25 goes evenly to 100, right? 25 times 4 is 100, so 7 times 4 goes here, 28. And now, of course, we can write this as a decimal. 28 hundredths is 0 0.28. Here's another such kind. Now, 8, okay, let's say that I wrote here so many tenths. 8 does not go evenly into 10, nor into 100, but it does go evenly into 1,000. 8 times 125 equals 1,000. So I go 3 times 125, that's 375. And now that is, of course, 375 thousandths. We can write it as a decimal, 0 0.375. But most fractions are not this kind. For most fractions, we need to use the second method. We need to divide. And I'm going to even here show you two basic cases. The first case being that the decimal will end. And let's say I have 11 sixteenths. I'm going to write this as a decimal. And I'm going to use long division. Notice that we're going to divide 11 by 16. And now, of course, 16 does not go into 11. So this is what we will do. We'll, we will write 11 as a decimal number. Put lots of decimal zeros here. And then divide. And I also wrote the multiplication table of 16 here the side to help me. Okay? So 16 goes to 11 zero times. So zero here. And then my decimal point will come right there at the same place. And now I look at 110. 16 goes to 110 six times. And 6 times 16 is 96. You need to be careful with lining all your numbers then 110 minus 96 is 14. Then drop a zero. And then, how many times does 16 go into 140? Over here we see it's eight times. And eight times 16 is 128. Now subtract, and we will get 12. Then drop a zero. And 16, how many times does it go into 120? That's now 7 times. And we get 112. Subtract 8 and drop another 0. And now it goes evenly, 5 times. OK, I get 0 here as a remainder. So my division ends right here. And the decimal ends, OK? So this is my answer, 0 0.6875. Now we're going to look at a case where the decimal actually does not end. And if you've never seen it before, it's kind of fascinating. This time the decimal we get is unending. It's also going to be repeating. Some of its digits are going to repeat. 7 elevenths as a decimal. OK, I will divide. 7 divided by 11. So notice again, 7 goes inside this corner, and 11 here is the divisor. And we will put lots of decimal zeros here, and then start dividing. 11 goes into 7 zero times. Then look at 70 here, 11 goes into 70 six times. 6 times 11, 66. And then 4. And we drop a 0. 11 goes into 40 three times. 3 times 11, 33. Subtract, 7. And then another 0. 
70, just like how I started. 11 goes into 76 times, I get 66, and 4, drop a 0, 11 goes into 43 times, I get 33, subtract 7, drop a 0. Now you notice that it starts repeating here, okay? I get 40, 33, 70, 66, those same numbers. 40, 33, 70, 66. And these are repeating here too. 6, 3, 6, 3. Now I know it's going to go 6, 3, 6, 3. It's going to repeat the 6, 3. And it's never going to end. I can see that here too, because it keeps repeating the same remainders. It's never going to give me a remainder of 0. Okay? The way to write this here as a decimal is either this way, like I have it here, with three dots showing that it repeats, or like this, 0 0.63, and then draw a bar above those repeating digits. Let's try another one. 2 divided by 15, 2 fifteenths. Okay, again, notice that 2, the smaller number, goes here, and 15 outside. Okay, 15 goes into 2, 0 times as expected, and 15 goes into 20, 1 time. 1 time, 15. We subtract, we get 5, and then 50. 15 goes into 50, 3 times. We get 45, subtract 5, drop a 0. 15 goes into 50, 3 times. Okay, I see now, I'm not going to get anywhere, I'm just going to get this 5 always, and then 50 and 3 here, okay, it is repeating. I always get 5 as my remainder. And these 3's here keep repeating. But notice, there was this digit here, 1, that is not repeated. It's only repeating the 3's. So when I write it here, I can write it this way, 0 0.13, and I write this bar above 3, because 3 repeats, but 1 does not. Now that you have seen decimals that are unending and repeating, sometimes, I need to tell you this, sometimes the repeating part may be 5 or 6 or 7 or 14 digits long. And so if you're using a calculator, you may actually not see it repeat. In which case you may need to just round your answer. And now that you've seen these unending decimals that repeat, the question then arises, would there be any decimals that are unending and that don't repeat? The answer is yes, there do exist such numbers. Such numbers are not fractions, okay? In other words, they are not rational numbers. Rational numbers are fractions. And these new kind of numbers are irrational numbers. One example of such number that you know about is number pi. If we write pi as a decimal, it is unending, but there's never a repetition of a certain sequence of digits. Okay? So it's kind of a fascinating topic. Lastly, we're going to look at a little bit of a fun pattern. Okay, I'm going to write 1 eleventh as a decimal. And then from that, can you guess these others? 1 eleventh. I just have to divide once again. 1 divided by 11. Let's see. 11 goes to 10 0 times, and 11 goes to 100 9 times. Then we get 99 here, and 1. Drop a 0. 11 goes into 10 0 times, so I drop another 0, and then it goes into 100 9 times. 99. 1. I see it's going to repeat. Now I have to again Put 0 here, it goes 0 times, drop another 0, and it goes 9 times, okay? Over here, this is 0 0.09, the repeating part is 0 0.9. Wanna guess what this one will be? Let me see if I can do that too. Running out of space, but... 2 divided by 11. Okay, 11 goes into 20 one time, and then we get 11. Subtract, 90. 8 times, 88. 2, and then 20. 1 time, 11. Subtract, 90. And 8 times. Okay, 
So the repeating part here is 0 0.18, 1, 8 repeats. Now I'm going to leave it up to you to check these two, if you can guess what kind of repeating part they have. We're all done with this lesson.